Hey everybody, how you doing? Dash and Dave here again. Alright, Valentine's Day 2022. My first Valentine's Day as a DoorDash Dasher. Man, I was not prepared for this. Uh, last week, uh, you know, because I'm not a top dasher, I fill out my schedule as far as I can. And uh, this week here, starting Monday the 14th, I had intended on really hitting the roadie by UPS Walmart uh, grocery delivery gigs hard and heavy in the morning because that's when it's a little bit slower with DoorDash. So I had my DoorDash reserve times scheduled to reflect that. I wasn't going to start until 10 a.m. Not even thinking, you know, last week when I set this schedule about Valentine's Day and all the flower deliveries. Oh my. So I did not have any scheduling for DoorDash in the morning. So I'm looking at the peak pays that are rolling in and I'm thinking to myself, I blew it. I'm going to miss out on some good revenue. Well, it is what it is, and I am scheduled for 10, so I go over to Ames and do some uh, roadie Walmart grocery deliveries. Kind of ran into a snafu on my second set of deliveries. Uh, I was going to a college dorm. It's a massive uh, complex, like seven stories. Delivery people are not allowed inside. You know, it, it's, it's a secure building, yada, 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 but it's a little bit different than an apartment complex because it's a dorm. So when I'm doing my DoorDash deliveries, the kids always come down and they're waiting for their food, which is really cool. So I don't have to, you know, navigate the labyrinth of the, the rooms and all that. And so I got this. It, it's just like a six pack of water, one single bag of groceries. I'm calling the kid. I'm texting the kid over and over and over again. And he's just not answering. Well, this was a double order. So I found out that if you just simply tapped on the next order delivery, you go make that delivery, which was just a few blocks away. And then I came back, texted and called you know kids hung over he he's he, <laughs> he's he's in bed he's a sleeper you know so, so i don't know but so i ended up ending that uh, i got paid to return the groceries back to walmart but now it's 10 30 and it's two dollar peak pay and i'm behind the eight ball but from the very beginning of the morning, 8 a.m., peak pay had been adjusted, the times and the amounts in my market, probably to reflect uh, market demand. $2 peak pay ended at noon. From noon to 2 p.m., uh, no peak pay, just base pay. At 2 p.m. to 4 p.m., peak pay was $1, and at 4 p.m. to 6 p.m., the peak pay went up to 2 bucks. But I noticed something interesting. Take a look at this screenshot here. At the bottom, we see the McDonald's delivery that I made that was just on uh, base pay, no peak pay. Then my next delivery was a flower arrangement. And you can see that the peak pay for that is $2. However, we're within the $1 peak pay time slot, which you see above, represented by the subway. So uh, it appears that they were putting on a little additional peak pay, if you will, on the flower deliveries in order to facilitate getting those to the customers and making the girls and the guys happy. I only did three flower arrangement deliveries, but they were all like one mile, 1.2 mile deliveries and paying pretty good. Uh, the first one was kind of interesting. I'm sitting there and they can't find the ticket. They can't find the number. And my phone rings. So I answer it and it said, this call may be recorded for quality assurance. And I immediately hung up. You know, I figured it was bullshit. And, you know, somebody trying to sell me a warranty on Speedwagon. Anyway, so, you know, I'm sitting there and they, they can't find the ticket or anything. And then the phone rang again. And it was the same thing. This call may be recorded for training purposes and quality assurance. And I thought, I better listen to it. I go, hello, this is Dave. And it turned out it was DoorDash support calling me. The order that I had just received for this individual was one that claimed that the first order didn't show up. And so I had her on speakerphone and she was talking, you know, to the uh, clerks there at the flower store and we got everything kind of sorted out and we hung up and then the clerk goes, it's going to be an hour before we get that made. It's a special one or not a special one, but you know, they didn't have any on hand right now. And I thought, oh my God, well, the lady that was uh, behind the counter in the actual booth where she was making all the flowers, she goes, here, he can have this one here. I'll make another one up real quick for the order that I'm working on. I said, thank you, thank you, thank you. So I'm only in there for about seven minutes and I get my arrangement and make my first DoorDash Valentine's Day floral delivery. Yes, I'm carrying this like a baby. It's a glass face full of water. I mean, I do not want to drop this bitch. For today, I only ended up with three floral deliveries. Combined, they paid me $29.25 and less than five mile delivery combined for those three deliveries. 
Next year, I'm scheduling out about 12 hours for uh, Valentine's Day. I'm going to be over in Ames at 7 a.m. ready to deliver flowers. I missed a lot of them. After these three, I didn't have any other flower delivery offers for the day. So the other day, the other video that I made when I was talking about peak pay, I had a little strategy where I stripped the peak pay off the total job offer and then applied my minimum $2 metric. Kind of did that again today, but I played a little loose with it because I didn't know where I wanted to be in town for the floral deliveries because we have two high vs that have the flower shops inside, one on the way east end of town, one way on the west end of town. And I didn't know which one was going to have the money. So I kind of bounced back and forth, but overall it was a pretty damn good day. So then this offer comes up, shop and deliver. You know I hate shop and deliver. hy V, one item, 1.1 mile, $9.50. She's got flowers for Valentine's Day. Now she needs ice cream, chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream, haagen -Dazs. one item. Surely it's going to be in stock. What are the odds that they're out of this ice cream? Garen fucking teed they are, and they are. So she didn't have a substitution uh, listed, and I got a hold of her. Her phone was acting up. My phone was acting up. I tell you, in that high V, they must have a Faraday cage over that thing. I, you, you, there's no signal in there. Anyway, we were finally able to make contact. She said just cancel the order, so I got paid for the order minus the tip, of course. Didn't get screenshots of all the orders I accepted, but they were pretty good. There were some slow times. I sat for about five or ten minutes on occasion. Then this order pops up. Never seen this before. A uh, triple stack. Interestingly, in my market, uh, Pancheros Mexican Grill burritos. Very heavy demand for them. I declined a half a dozen of these guys. And, and again, the reason I declined the Pancheros uh, a lot is, you know, that's custom made on demand. You go in there, they don't even start the order until you showed up. Most of the time, sometimes it's there, but anyway. And so usually that's some pretty long wait times. And I thought, my God, if I show up there and they haven't started any of these three orders, I'm going to be there for a half an hour. So. I declined this one. Note in the upper left hand corner it is 537 p.m. 23 minutes left on two hour peak pay. At this time I am seven dollars short of a two hundred dollar day combining roadie and DoorDash. I want to break that record. Never have broken 200 bucks in one day. Had I taken this Pancheros order, of course, that would have put me over the top, but I just did not want to take that order. Then, Tony throws a temper tantrum, and even under $2 peak pay, I just get shitty order after shitty order after shitty order for about the next five minutes. Okay, how about a good Red Lobster or a good Applebee's? We'll round the day out that way, Tony. Decline, decline. Come on, I need seven dollars. There we go. There it is. That's what we wanted. 
So Tony smiled upon me. Not only that, he stacked an $8 run from Papa Murphy's, the take and bake pizza that went literally around the corner from the place that I was delivering the Applebee's. So ended up with a $23 run right under the wire. Peak pay ended at six. All right, so here are the numbers for Valentine's Day 2022. Worked about seven and a half hours, had a total of 22 jobs. Pay was 187.75. Of course, we had a lot of peak pay involved today, and that netted a fantastic $25.03 per hour. Drove about 75 miles. Thank you very much, Speedwagon, which comes out to $2.50 a mile average. My roadie gigs in the morning brought me in $38.79. Let's add that to the 187.75. Total gross pay for the day clocked in at $226.54. Hot damn. My average hourly pay for the day between Roadie and DoorDash, $25.17. $2.52 per mile average between the two gigs. Between Roadie and DoorDash, I'm now clocking in at 1,218 deliveries. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I have radically adjusted my vehicle expenses percentage and my taxes percentage. You can see down here, uh, the vehicle was at 5%, I doubled it 10, and the taxes were at 15%, and I raised it to 25%. Gas has gone up tremendously here in the last month, as you all know, so my bottom line isn't looking near as good as it was uh, about a month ago. Now, the thing to remember about vehicle expenses, you know, for Speedwagon, that's my money. And the reason I doubled that from 5% to 10% is I just didn't like the way it was not growing as fast as I thought it should be in the uh, savings account that I have set aside for that. Learned a lot about gig taxes over the last couple weeks. I plan on making a video on taxes when I get some more information gathered and uh, get a little bit more familiar with it all. I was at 15%. I raised that to 25%. That might be a little bit more than what I should be setting aside, but I don't want to be upside down. All right, so overall, a pretty damn good record-breaking day. If I'm doing this next year, and I hope that I am, and it all works out, uh, next Valentine's Day, I'm going to have my schedule set. I'm going to be over there at 7 a.m. delivering freaking flowers. Hell yeah. And let's not forget May 8th, Sunday, Mother's Day. Oh yeah, bring it on. All right, guys and gals, that's all I've got for you today. Hopefully you can take something from this video and put it to use for yourself. Thanks for coming along for the ride, and hope to see you next time.